That's my Uncle Frank. I idolized him as a kid. He's a freelance photographer, see? He's always traveling to some place exotic. Never can seem to settle down. Doesn't make much money, doesn't seem to care. Now, 20 years ago, he was a very dashing guy, but now he's just kind of irresponsible. He's the reason I come to these family reunions. It's too bad we don't have more in common. He was never Still our kid. Yeah. 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 There's Jack. Here comes my nephew Jack. He's a great kid. But he was never a child, if you know what I mean. He set up a lemonade stand when he was about seven. And he's been in business ever since. He never does anything impulsive. It was kind of cute when he was seven. But it never changed. It's too bad. I really wish we were closer. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, you're looking great. You know your Uncle Frank right over there. Yeah, hey. Hi, Jack. All right, Hi, Jack. Lisa, Hi. how are you? Good to see you. Ben? How are you? All right. Hi. How's it going, Andy? Pretty good. I got on the Little League team. Really? Yeah. Hey, that's great. Hey, you guys want to go play baseball? Uh, how about volleyball? Hey, no, volleyball, you guys? So. Volleyball? I don't think so, no. Okay. okay. Hey, Claudia, you want to come help me get out lunch? Well, uh, I guess that leaves us, Jack. Yes, uh, so. Want to go have a drink? Sure. sure. <laughs> Tell, um, how's it going at work? Oh, not too bad. Figure I'll make sales manager by the end of the year. See what I mean. Uh, how about you? Been any place exotic lately? London, Rome, Bangkok, Peru next month. <laughs> it figures. So, did you fly in for the occasion? No, actually, I drove in. You mean rode on the motorcycle, right? No. Cavalier RS sedan. You in a Cavalier RS sedan? Right. You're kidding. No. Uh -uh. Well, this I've got to see. Well, I got it right over there. Come on, I'll show it to you. Well, there she is. What do you think? Amazing. A practical car. That can't be why he bought it. it looks great. And that black trim makes it kind of sporty. Well, thanks. But actually, the reason I bought it is because it's so practical. You? Practical? <laughs> really? Come over here. Let me show you this. All right. Now, look in there. I've got plenty of room for all of my stuff. You got a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, I do. And it's all carpeted. You see how there's carpet all the way through? Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Come over here. Take a look at the inside. All right. Oh, it's comfortable. Uh-huh. Roomy. Nice looking, too. Cloth trim on the doors. Yeah, it's easy to get into, too. Yeah. I don't know. For some reason, the clients never like to ride to lunch on the motorcycle. Huh. Can't understand that. The way you drive, maybe it's because they couldn't fasten their seat belts. <laughs> well, they can now. They've got three-point outboard shoulder belts back there. AM, FM stereo? Digital clock? Five-speed manual. Gauges? Uh-huh. Nice feel to the steering wheel. <laughs> this is a nice car. I don't get it. I got it. There's something special under the hood, I'll bet. Yep. What is it? Two-liter, four-cylinder fuel injection. I thought you said it was special. Well, it is. I get great mileage and all the performance I need. I can't believe this is my Uncle Frank talk. I mean, this is the guy who once said that Indy was too tame. What can I tell you, Jackie? People change, needs change. The Cavalier rides great, and it handles great, especially with that sports suspension and the wide touring tires. All I can say, Uncle Frank, is welcome to the world of adulthood. Thank you, nephew. What about you? You still driving that old van of yours? Nope. I traded it in for this. A Z24. Sensational lines. Very nice, Jack. You got this to uh, zip up your image a little, right? Nope. I got it because it's fun to drive. Fun? My nephew? Now it's you that's kidding. Not at all. It's got a 2.8 liter multi-port fuel-injected V6 with a 5-speed. It's great on those rallies I do on the weekends. 
rallies. You rally? Yeah. The last I heard you were spending all your weekends in the office. Well, not anymore. Not since I got this. Huh. Hey, come on. Have a seat. You got a manual. Oh, five speed. It's great. And I see you've got those rear shoulder belts. And that split rear seat is terrific. Oh, it's useful, too. With half that seat folded down, I've got room for my skis. You ski? What can I tell you, Uncle Frank? People change. Needs change. Where have I heard that before? But seriously, what about business? You have clients. Oh, it's plenty practical. Seat's five, just like yours. And the seat adjuster on the passenger side makes it easy to get in the back seat. Mm -hmm. It's got over 13 cubic feet of luggage room, almost as much as yours. Hmm. But you didn't buy it because it's practical. No. Like I told you, I bought it because it's great looking, fun to drive. Yeah. The aluminum wheels, wide tires, sport suspension, and power steering make a big difference, you know. I bet they make it pretty expensive, too. No, not, not to buy. Not next to the competition. And not to operate. In fact, I'll bet your fuel economy is not a whole lot better than mine, even with a larger engine. You know, that's the nice thing about the Cavalier. They make a model to meet almost anybody's needs. Yeah, tell me about it. Or rather, let's tell them. Take my cousins, Ben and Lisa, and their son, Andy. They've got the Cavalier wagon, and it's perfect for them. With the rear seat folded down, it's got over 65 cubic feet of cargo room for their luggage or picnic stuff. And I'll bet Ben is really happy with the sports suspension that he got with his V6. You see, Ben is a surveyor with a construction crew, and he spends a lot of time driving on a lot of basically nasty roads. Then there's my other cousin, uh, Corey. She got tired of riding the bus to her secretarial job. Yeah, and the Cavalier base coupe is perfect for her. It has all the features that she needs, plus it's got some terrific styling. Oh, yeah. And now that the RS has been dropped as a model, all the Cavaliers except the Z24 and the VL are available with the special RS package. You know, I looked at that package before I bought my Z, and it's got the sports suspension that Ben and Lisa have on their wagon. With the complete gauges, the power steering, and the RS exterior trim. Mm -hmm. Say, does anybody have the Cavalier Z24 convertible? Like, catch me at the next family reunion. I figure I'll get it after my next promotion. Can't you see me now with the wind blowing through my hair? <laughs> Up until a few minutes ago, I wouldn't be able to put you in that picture. But now, I think maybe that car was designed especially for you. I know what you mean. I never would have expected to see you in a Cavalier sedan, but it's perfect for you. <laughs> So listen, what else has changed in your life? Well, I finally got married. Married? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. I married a widow with two kids, and I've adopted. You have kids now? Right, right. As a matter of fact, they're waiting for me back in Des Moines. We're going to set up a small studio back there when I get Wait, back from this Des Moines? Trip. Right, Jackie, Des Moines. <laughs> so, what else is uh, new in your life? Well, I start my skydiving lessons next week. Skydiving? Yeah. The wild Leander of the Frank That's that's all.